Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's gonna be a little bit different video style this time around. And I know, I know if you clicked on this video, it's probably not exactly what you thought it was gonna be, so I apologize for that. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go over five things that I personally like about the 2021 Ford Bronco. And then yes, at the end of the video, I will show you a Bronco. Um, and it is mine, so yes. Number one, price. I think the, the Bronco is super affordable for what you're getting versus what you're spending. Uh, let me clarify what I'm meaning by that. So personally, I had bought a 2016 TRD Off-Road Tacoma that was $40,000, and I had a little over $29,000 in parts invested into the truck. That does not include labor either. So you're talking you know, a $75,000 Tacoma to have it meet the, I guess, demands that I needed it to do based off of the travel and the types of things that I like to do personally you know, outdoors and then off road. So, um, you know, in comparison, personally, I really dig the Sasquatch Badlands Ford Bronco in a four door configuration, uh, you know, fully specced out, you're looking at like $61,000, you know, and you get lockers front and rear, Dana 44 front and rear, 35 inch tires, it's already geared, um, stabilizer disconnect in the, in the front, you know, and a ton of technology that Tacoma never had. You know, so when you're comparing fully built Tacoma and 4Runner, I do have a 4Runner as well, versus an out of the box, 10 times more capable rig um, for you know $12,000 cheaper, I think that's a steal. So I think price is a huge selling point for me and the things that I wanna do with a Ford Bronco moving forward in the future. Um, you know, Some people might disagree and they might wanna go with more of a base model, uh, you know, but I just, again, all of the things, gears, lockers, tires, armor, suspension, all the things I had to do to my Tacoma to be able to get outdoors and get off grid versus the Bronco. I think it's a, it's a no brainer to save, you know, a, a lot of money uh, and have 10 times more capability. So that's my number one on one of the things that I like a lot about the Ford Bronco. Uh, number two is the technology. You know, kind of talked about it a little bit in the pricing, but the technology that the Ford Bronco has uh, in comparison to my 2016 Tacoma and then my 2017 TRD Off-Road 4Runner is, man, it's way, more, way more tech in the Bronco than the uh, than Tacoma and the 4Runner. You know, the Bronco's got remote start, heated steering wheel, heated seats, uh, keyless entry, you know, so plus 360 cameras, there's just so much more technology in that package. Again, price-wise, getting that equipment and that much more tech, it's very convenient when you're off-grid somewhere and it's 20 degrees outside and you're camping outside in your tent. You can hit your remote start and warm up your Bronco or warm up your vehicle. And by the time you make camp and ready to take off, your vehicle is warm and you get inside and you're nice and cozy. Yes, I know you can add remote starts to Tacoma, but you know when you get in, it shuts off, whereas the Bronco, it does not do that, which is cool. So um, that's just a part of the technology too. So like another thing I like about the technology with the Bronco is, you know, for a novice driver, you know, like if my wife got into it and, you know, she's maybe not as familiar as I am, if we're driving on rocks, she can put the goat mode in rock and the Bronco will basically switch on the stabilizer bar, the lockers, Fold, I mean, it does everything for you with one switch. Whereas my Tacoma, I had to manually put it in full wheel drive, manually hit the lockers, and then there's no stabilizer disconnect. So it, all, all of those things that it just does automatically for somebody that's not as experienced, I think it's huge, you know, because it, I think it opens up uh, a little bit more confidence to people that may not have had that sort of confidence going into those types of conditions. So, um, there's, there's so much other tech incorporated in the Bronco too that's, that's really unique, but those are the, the things that kind of really stand out to me over what I'm already used to. Um, number three is the power. My Tacoma was a turd. Uh, and the Tacoma had 278 horsepower and 265 foot-pounds of torque with a six-speed transmission. I had to re-gear the Tacoma to a 513. And uh, even, even with that low of a gear, and a 33, that truck, man, it still just didn't move like I really would like it to. Um, and that was with the throttle um, performance tool on it and everything, you know, versus the Bronco. I've had an opportunity to ride in several of them now, and 
the power in those things is just incredible. You know, that 2.7 liter Ford just released the horsepower numbers. It makes 330 horsepower and 415 foot pound of torque. You know, so that's, you're talking almost 60 more horsepower and what, 50 more foot pounds of torque plus a 10 speed transmission. So many people online, you know, and even on my social media are just dogging the fact that it doesn't have a V8, which is just honestly stupid. Um, you know, motors and technology is so much more advanced and they can make so much more power out of a smaller displacement engine nowadays than an old school big V8. You know, some of these old V8s, even back in the day, like the 302 and the 351, I would venture to say that the horsepower numbers were probably the same. <laughs> and you get way better economy, way better power, a lot lighter vehicle out of a smaller, smaller package. And some people I just don't understand that. So uh, again, power, I think is just, over the top, you know, and again, I've had an opportunity to sit in one, ride in one, get one off the ground with uh, Vaughn uh, in, in Utah. The power is just incredible that they've able to make out of that, that little turbo engine. Um, and then the capability, number four being probably one of my favorite things about the Bronco is that it's, it's, it's highly capable. Uh, talking about the Badland Sasquatch, you know, with a 35 inch tire out of the factory, that's something that you don't have to do. Uh, the suspension is already set up to run a 35 and have zero clearance and rubbing issues. Again, that's huge. That's a huge task on a Tacoma and a full runner. Um, lockers front and rear. Again, TRD off road had one on the back. You got to add one on the front. You know, and then to turn a 35 inch tire in a Tacoma, you know, you'd have to gear it up and potentially supercharge it to make that vehicle really move. Uh, don't get me wrong, it will drive, but to have that peppiness that it would have had stock. You just, you're never gonna get that back. Whereas the Bronco out of the box with a 35 and lockers front and rear, it, it drives like a sports car. Um, you know, stabilizer disconnector, you know, stay bar disconnect in the front, you know, more articulation out of the front end. It is independent front suspension. It's not a Wrangler. It's not gonna, it's never gonna have that type of articulation. But for somebody like me that is not 100% rock crawling and, and not 100% going fast, it's kind of right in the middle. And I think having that extra couple inches in the front end, uh, plus the comfort, comfort and stability on the highway and then on faster trails is just huge. Um, and of course, ground clearance hand in hand with a 35 inch tire. Again, it's gonna be you know a lot more capable than my Tacoma on a 33 or my 4Runner on a 34. Again, out of the box, the capabilities is crazy. Um, and, then, and the suspension too. My Tacoma, I had a stage 10 Icon vehicle dynamic suspension system on my Tacoma. And you're talking eight, nine thousand dollars worth of suspension to handle all the armor, the tires, the, the load, the off-road capability. And again, uh, out of the box, it's set up. Um, it's, it's very impressive what, they've, what they were able to do out of you know, entry-level reservoir Bilstein shock. Stein um, and then number five the last thing that I like about the Bronco and this might be kind of a stupid one for some people is the hype good and bad you know on personally my social media there's a lot of really positive stuff and then there's a lot of really negative stuff you know and I think that is awesome I like watching people talk bad about the Bronco and obviously I like people talking I like seeing people talking good about it um, because competition breeds and uh, competition makes innovation, you know? So having another platform brought to the market that is a little bit of everything makes everybody step up their game on a manufacturer level and the people who benefit are us, the consumers. You know, that means all the Jeep guys, you know, the things that the Bronco has that the Jeep doesn't have Jeep's going to step up their game to make it match. You know, Toyota is going to step up their game to make it match. Jeep's going to step, you know, like all the, all, all the manufacturers are going to bump things up to make the playing field more even where, you know, some of them might be lacking. And again, on a manufacturer level, it makes them innovate. And on a consumer level for us, we reap the rewards of having more capability, more tech, more power, more conveniences, more comfortability, you know, it's all of that we, we benefit from. So uh, I think the five things that are really cool about the Bronco is the price, the technology, the power, the capability, and the hype. Um, you know, on a manufacturer level, 
you know, I've worked in the car business for a long time and seeing what Ford is doing and the response that people are having to the Bronco, again, good and bad, is really, really unique because I haven't really ever bear witnessed uh, this level of hype around a vehicle being released. So I think that's really cool. Um, short and sweet, guys. Again, just five things quickly that I like about the Bronco. I think I you know, can sort of go over those things now because I've been to three different events and I've been in six different Broncos. I've ridden in them. And uh, you know, comparing it to the Tacoma and the Toyota that I've had for four years and driven all over the United States and up into Canada with, um, I think those are really cool points about the Bronco and why I really like it. So yeah, now let's show you my 2021 Ford Bronco. Not like that, baby. Get like this. <laughs> 